Uh, good evening, Stampedia. Uh, this is Kutniawan speaking. Uh, I'm going to show you my second activity uh, from the lesson. Yeah. Share screen. All right. This is what I made from your the for the second activity. Yeah, it's a little bit different from the lesson that you have shown. Okay, uh, before I explain every line code, I'm going to play the game. Right, this is my game. Uh, I'm use a Gobo Sprite. Yeah. Before the game begin, the Gobo said that he, he or she need three apples. Alright, yeah, this is the movement. Yeah. If he hit the wall, Gobo said it hurt. Alright, let's try again. I'm walking this down the maze. Okay, I'm careful. Alright, and he got an apple. Alright, every time he got an apple, the the spread is getting bigger. Yeah, let's try again. The second times. Oh, alright. Let's try the other. Route. Okay. Okay. Going down. Going left. And going right. Going left. Up. Left. Ah. And this time is Gobo getting bigger. Right. Uh, I think I will stop the program now. Or should I try? Oh yeah, it's a little hard. Right, I'm going to stop the program. Okay, uh, I'm going to show what line that I use. Yeah, the first ten line it set a parameter for the game. So, um, Gobo starting out with um, normal size. He will go to the center of the screen. And say it's hi, welcome to my maze. To win the game, I need the apple. Yeah. After that, Gobo string the size into 30, and I set the level with number zero and the movement speed with five. All right. This is the function that I create. Yeah, there are five functions, but the main point is uh, the game will start with from the starting point and this is the looping while true yeah um, he will uh, the coding will detect any movement from the keyboard all right let's let's see movement after the move check if the if Gobo touch the wall and if the if he succeed getting three apple uh, Gobo will say that he win, yeah, that we win, the gamer will win. All right, let's check the first function, movement function. All right, uh, this is the movement function. Yeah, there are four way, and the move speed. Uh, I set the move speed with five initially, but it's getting lower. If the while the you game you advance to the next level right this is the movement and this is the touch the check wall yeah if this spread touch a black color yeah Kobo will upsize into 60 and says it hurt and back again to 30 yeah and he will start again at the starting point all right the starting point gobo will directly go to this area the location is minus 130 and minus 145 of course we update the spread yeah this is the update uh, function the update will set if the level is zero the spread will be at 30 if level 1 at 40 at level 2 it will be at 50 yeah 
and the movement speed for level zero at five, level one at four, and level two at three. Yeah, this is a update button, update function. Okay, if Gobo touch the red color, which is the apple, yeah, it will set the variable at level with increment of one. Yeah, uh, I think I missed this step. Yeah, Gobo will get bigger and set that. Where I got an apple. Okay, and the variable level will increase one and back to the starting point. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's say that he already take three apple. This is the function that will run. Say win. Now Gobo will get to the center of the screen and set you win. Thank you for helping me. And after that, uh, this is the last code breaking from the loop and the code end. Yeah, I hope my explanation is clear for you, dear teacher and educator from step India. Okay, thank you for listening to me and see you again next time. Bye.